H E M E K K A M A N, the Mecha Man. Uh, you are watching and looking into what is the uh, March 20th, 2018, uh, Cade 6 Treasure Hunt locations. Uh, this week, uh, like all weeks, we find out how much we spend and find out if it's truly worth it. Um, for those that have watched the live stream, I actually had to do farming for this uh, because it is quite expensive. It is 24000 per week. Um, this week it is on the EDZ. You'll love it, I promise. So what we go ahead and do is grab them all. Got them all there. Pop up here. I got 774 left. Yeah. It starts to take a toll when you do it every week. Uh, and so, what we end up doing is going into the EDZ. Oh, no, where these are going. None are up on the left side. I kind of like it that way. <coughs> uh, two are over by the gulch, looks like. Uh, one by the salt mains, one down south, and one over there. So, my thought, hmm, is to start with the gulch, do the one, two, uh, then we will go from the winding cove on around. Uh, I hope that sounds fine by you, because that's my thought of going forward. Uh, while I'm loading, uh, I'd like to go ahead and hit the plugs in. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube uh, or on Twitch, uh, you can catch either or if you miss anything on YouTube. Uh, that's YouTube slash The Mecha Man uh, or Facebook or uh, uh, Twitch slash The Mecha Man. Uh, you can also catch it on uh, Periscope and Mixer. Um, I stream to them as well. Uh, purpose for Periscope is so that when you scroll through the Twitter feed, it automatically generates right there and you can just watch it right there. Uh, one thing I did notice with Periscope is that there's no fast forwarding or rewinding, so you just kind of watch as I go. Uh, I do it unedited so that way it's uh, clear view and straight. Uh, but yeah, you can catch them on those as well. Uh, and if you go ahead and follow me on Facebook, uh, you will know when I go live and when I'm not. So, yeah. Uh, as we load into the EDZ. Uh, don't remind her we spent 24,000 on it. Excuse me, we spent 24,000 glimmer on the five map locations in the EDZ. So here we are in the EDZ. First one is up over here. A uh, little quick thing uh, if you do have a ghost on, we're going to check to see if that works uh, for the resources. Um, there is one for the, there's one, uh, I do have one on a different floor in the bowl, uh, one that actually shows up with the chest locations, like, closely, um, but this, I do not have it on. So, uh, this one that seems to be just to my left here. They thought they had me dead to dead to sights, backing me down this cliff. But I could see some fellow hunters sparrowing in from the highway. Classic. So I sparked up a so I sparked up a little golden gun and brought my guys home, guys some time, and bought my guys some time. Wow, I'm adding letters to every word. I know I dropped something good in that one. Uh, so it looks like, wow, literally right there. It's not even hidden. You spawn in and you're facing these trees. Just turn to the left. Boom. Looks like someone else is doing these locations too. Aha. Uh, there is more chance of doing the, uh, doing these and getting, um, engrams, uh, I got them every now and then. Uh, the next one we're doing is up over here, uh, through the gulch area. 
Because there's plenty of loot up at the old mill in the EDZ. To scare off, to scare off, to scare the dregs off, I'd throw on some old Festival of the Lost masks and make them think the place was haunted. <laughs> uh, so do that one. I just kind of hop over the ledge here, <coughs> put the vehicle up, try not to have this one blow up. Yeah. And then there's the old mill. You can do it one of two ways. Run up that way. Or the way I prefer. A little bit easier. Go past it. And then you see this tree here. Right there on this ramp. You'll be able to go up it. Up it. See if I can do it still on the... Yeah. Go up it. Go around to the other side. And stop about midway if you think that you're going to go all the way. You hit that yellow block. Yellow generator. And it is right there. Uh, so far, I got an artichoke. And, and grams. Okay. <laughs> oh, and one of them. Okay. Okay, the next one. Uh, I'm going to choose to spawn into the winding cove. Uh, first. Yeah, I'm going to spawn into the winding cove because that's going to save a little bit of travel time on it. You know that Periscope actually only has a, a little bit of delay on the Twitter feed, so. Uh, here we are. Pull up the map. And let's read. So after a full day of pulling loot out of the Fallen's hands, I thought I would just cool my engines down by that old river. But as soon as I... Catched it all up down there. A servitor shows up. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it is to our right. We kind of spawn in. We see this lay. That's going to be over to our right. No. And as you just kind of follow the riverside, you'll see it's glowing blue light. It's my video. Hello. This is my video. We'll dance. Dance off. So. Let me take a look at the next one. Because I can't read while driving. That's the same as texting and driving. You do much driving? Me either. But I used to spend nights hiding out near this old truck. Just teetering on the ledge. Just waiting for the day. Some dumb drag would send it over the edge. The day never came. Uh, it's over in the outskirts near some camp. We were heading in that direction. And it is that direction, so we hop up on our sparrow. Spark it on up to go faster. Ignore that as much as we want to hop in and do it. Keep on this highway, go all the way around. Oh, what the? Uh, and then you'll see this bridge on the right. Follow that bridge around. You come around the turn and you'll see it straight ahead. You see the glowing blue light. The truck's just teetering on the edge, waiting for it to fall off. He ain't lying. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to go this way if you're not skilled at landing your jumps. So you can just go right there. Ah. Two armor and a weapon. Nice. Uh, and then I believe my last one. It's up here in the salt mines. So 
So once you get up there, don't be afraid to strut it out on the catwalk. We both know the importance of looking good. Keyword, catwalk. Pay attention to that word. Uh, that one is back in the normal ADZ location that you standardly spawn in. It just, it looks like a big old battle going on. Even though that big old arc explosion up there. So, alright, here we go. We're gonna zip on past this thing. Oh, he's almost dead. I'm not counting this, so I will pay attention to how much it is. If there's gold. Or glimmer. I shot it! What? <coughs> That's horse poop. I shot it, my rocket exploded on him. Anyways. We ignore that invisible wall that we just hit in the road. Uh, continue past. I'm gonna round your turns. Spare racing, hit a block. Let me hit that block on purpose. For what reasons? No reasons. But normally, if you took the shortcut to spawn in, <laughs> you'd spawn in right over here. What we're gonna do is head pretty much in that straight location. Down this way, since it's in the salt mines, uh, go through that dying. We're gonna have to hop off. We're gonna end up going through this way. Yeah, this one's not the shoes that are up there. There's one that's named uh, with shoes in the name. So there's that. Run past these guys. Because I'm trying to do it without earning any in game currency. I feel like that is the easiest way if you're just going for the treasures. And pay attention to over your top here. Out of the way. Because it's going to be up top, past this. And to the right, and it's up there. This is a ledge up here that you can land on as you come in. Uh, I'm going to see what you can do as a hunter or any other class. Uh, I think one of your easiest ways to do it... You get over here. Maybe one way. Cause then it kind of just comes up. You're kind of safe right here. Uh, and then this is the last one. Of which I ended up getting two more guns and a couple other things. So. Uh, I'm going to go and turn in all his other things. All the little things that he gives you. The little things, little things. Uh, but first, oh, as it loads in, I did get this gun. It's a pulse rifle. I really don't like pulse rifles, so I dismantle and I earn nothing. All right. A sidearm and a hand cannon. I'm not too good at either, so I'm going to dismantle them personally. Uh, and the blues do give you 100 each, so there's 200. 300, 400, 500. So already we got 500 back, which makes us just under 20,000 spent. 
So, okay. A little good. Not great. Uh, but we do have three things. Uh, Rourke's test, uh, letter fragment, and an ascendant artichoke. I didn't know that we were ascending artichokes. Apparently, Cade thought it was necessary to expose this extremely rare vegetable to a hive summoning ritual. Uh, and I got a, quite a few mods. Uh, one, two, three, maybe four, I believe. So that's not bad. Four. Yeah, I ended up getting four. Uh, oh, four mods. Um, all blue mods. So it's not, not too bad. Not, you know, not less. Oh. People actually click my links. I appreciate that. I'm looking at my Twitter analytics. What tweet was on March? Anyways, uh, here we go to turn these things in. I like his helm. Yeah. Yeah, he got stopped. Or he stopped. Okay, so here we go. We're getting ready to turn these in. Yep. Uh, we spent... Wow, uh, we earned back 500. Oh, I forgot to read that one. Another 500, so that's 1,000. No, that puts us at 22. My math is not great. Or 23. My math is not that great. Uh, Rourke's test. Uh, Never regret it. No and so 1200 back. Oh, okay, cool. My glimmer is a, a year. Yeah, I Um, but I want to see that gear. I just want to see the gear. That helmet. Cool. Oh man, he's got three. One, two, and three items a year. Ah. He's got the whole set. So, kudos. Uh, anyways, that is the Kid 6 Treasure Hunt locations. Uh, I appreciate you all for watching. Go ahead and give the video uh, like, a thumbs up. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, to me on YouTube, uh, that's YouTube slash the Mecha Man, T H E M E K K A M A N. Uh, I'm also on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, I also stream to Mixer and Periscope, uh, so that way it's a live feed on Periscope on uh, Twitter as well. Uh, and as you scroll through the tweets, it'll act actually generate the video as well automatically on there. Um, and it's of higher quality that. Uh, they recommend because they sit there and uh, Periscope is actually yelling at me to turn down my bitrate on it. Uh, so I'm probably generating at a higher bitrate that they would appreciate. Um, but thank you all for watching uh, and I will catch you all next time. Thanks. I wrote down the time so that way I can do the highlight. I can export it to YouTube.